Hey my beautifuls, it's me Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video and a very special guest. This is my little kitty Hope. And we are going to do the furry friend tag because I have not done the furry friend tag um, with Hope yet. I've only done it with my kitty Rose Swan and that was a couple of years ago and I wanted to do one with Hope because you haven't really met, I guess, Hope. You just see him on my Instagram and stuff like that. Wait. You a cutie? Somehow there are treats jump just dropping down from you, right? I had to sit here and feed him little treats so he would sit here with me. But I don't know how long it will last that he would want to sit here with me. But this is little. This is my little kitty Hope. Look how cute he is. Look at this little fuzzy face. Look at this. Say hi, Hope. Look. Look over here. See, look at him. Here he is. My new cutie. So, without any further ado, we are gonna get right on into the tag. I know. So, question number one. What's question number one? What is your pet's name? What's your name, Hope? <laughs> My goodness, Hope, what's up? I don't think he's gonna want me to hold him any longer. So I'm gonna let him go. He wants to just go sleep in the tent or lay down in the tent for a little bit. But my kitty's name is Hope. He is a cute little boy, um, which we're gonna get into um, because you're wondering. You have a little boy kitty named Hope. Yes, I do. I love fairy tale names, guys. If you haven't met my kitty Rose Swan, then you would know that she's after she's named after two fictional characters that I adore. <laughs> so if you haven't seen um, my furry friend tag with Rose Swan, um, I will make sure I link that down below in the description box for you guys. And number two is what kind of pet is it and <laughs> breed? So Hope is obviously a little kitty cat. I like to call them kitties. I know people. I know. He's not technically a kitty kitty because he's not a baby kitten, but he's still a kitty to me. <laughs> but he is a domestic short hair and he's a cute little boy. He looks like a little big bunny. It's like a bunny and a cat mixed together. And you got a bun kitty. He's so cute. He's so fluffy and soft and cuddly guys. If you just held him in your arms, you would feel such warmth and love just pouring out of him because that's how cuddly and cute my little hope is. How long, okay, question number three is how long have you had your pet? It will be four years because um, today is actually his birthday. He is born on April 8th. Um, so I've had him for four years and he's four years old today on April 8th. So. I have had a good time having him. Um, I got him when he was just a couple of months old. Um, Cause I got him actually July 1st. Um, so. Yeah, he's so cute, he's sleeping in the tent. <laughs> Question number four is how did you get your pet? Okay. This is my mom's fault. My mom knows I love cats very much and she knows I can get very sucked into wanting cats very quickly. Um, so Hope actually appeared on a veterinarian uh, Facebook page. Um, somebody posted, um, there, there was a veterinarian you know, clinic nearby and somebody decided to just post on there saying that they had a small kitten you know that they you know couldn't take care of anymore due to uh, different reasons this story is like quite something i've never heard of so the thing about hope when i got him 
since he was posted on this veterinarian clinic, he wasn't at the clinic or, or anything. Um, somebody just was trying to figure out a way to, you know, show that they had a cat, you know, they had a baby kitten that, you know, needed a new home and stuff. And so my mom just somehow came across this and sent me a picture of the kitty and I was like, oh my goodness, he's so cute. Now here's the thing. I, at first, when I got him, he was a girl. This is the gender story that you would, you've been waiting for to hear about cats. But this kind of happens a little bit often. Because when I first got Hope, Hope looked like a girl. And I was told he was a girl from these people. And so he looked like a baby girl for a good couple of months for when I had him. And then all of a sudden, his manly parts appeared. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. I thought I was going to have two girl cats and I ended up with a girl and a boy instead. <laughs> because previously to having Hope, um, I had only Rose Swan at the time and I had another cat that was older than Rose Swan. I had a cat named RJ. Um, RJ was a Maine Coon. Um, you probably, if you've been following me for a very long time, he... Um, was in a lot of the background of like a lot of my videos. You would see him laying on the bed with um, also Garfield. Um, he was another boy kitty that I had. Um, Garfield passed away in 2013. And then um, RJ passed the year that I got Hope. So Hope came into my life a couple of months after, um, you know, RJ passed away. And so, um, I <laughs> wasn't expecting for another kitty to come into my life, but you know, I always believe that, you know, your furry friend companion comes into your life for a reason and for a purpose. And when I saw the cute little picture of Hope, I was like, this is Hope. This is actually my cat, Hope. Um, I knew that's the name I wanted for Hope. Um, Cause it, he, it just says white, pureness of the fur just gave me hope vibes and i love fairy tale names and so that's why i have him um but the reason why i also that how i did get him and stuff is um his two previous owners he had two previous owners so the first owner was related to the second owner so the first owner was i guess she was like a college student um, that's what I was told. She was a college student and she had this, she, I guess she was raising him from when he was like a baby kitten and stuff, but she couldn't take care of him anymore because she wanted to be able to go out and do stuff and party and things like that, from what I was told from her mother. Now the mother couldn't end up keeping the cat because the younger daughter that she had that, um, lived with her so the older daughter didn't live with them um as far as i'm understanding um but the, she also had a younger sister um and so they couldn't keep the cat still either because the younger sister was allergic to cats so um that seemed really crazy if you think about it don't get people don't get pets if you cannot take care of them because they're a commitment. If you, it's like having a child. If you want a child, you have to have the child. If you don't, not ready for commitment, do not bother doing anything. You know, cats are like children. Your your furry friend, companion, your aunt. You know, the pet that you decide to get, they're going to be like a child, like a real actual child. No matter how much you think, oh, they're just an animal and stuff. No. Don't think, don't think like that. They're actual, have feelings and they want compassion and they want to give love and comfort. And so I was like, I want him at the time, but I thought it was a girl, but it's okay. He had a little girly moment. If you go and look back at further pictures, you could see that he's wearing pink and I call her she. Um... So, um, he is a big joy and light in my life. I love him. He's so furry and cute. And 
you know, no matter how you get, how, how I got him, you know, he was still a cat that came into my life for a reason. Um, so, he's very cute and cuddly. He's a very attached to my mom as well. Um, he just has so much love to give and he's so cute and fluffy and cuddly. Number five is how old is your pet? Like I said, he is four years old as of today, as of April 8th, 2020. So he is so cute, just so cute. How can you not just adore that cuteness? He was even so cute when he was a little baby too, when I had him. <laughs> Number six is, what is your favorite memory with your pet? Um, I don't know, I have, I, I think any memory with your furry friend is a pure joy and a favorite to mine. Um, I don't have any that super really stand out, you know. I got to raise him from when I got him. Um, the day that I actually got him on July 1st is actually my grandparents' um, anniversary, um, their wedding anniversary, I believe, yeah, their anniversary. So, you know, it is special that, you know, that I did get him on that day, um, even though today is his birthday, <laughs> um, but he's such a cuddly joy, just I think just being in him, in his presence of cuddling him, feeling his fur and his warmth, and knowing that he is a very lovable and very kind kitty, and he loves playing with mice. This these are his favorite type of little toy mouse. He has we have this white one, and then we also have like a gray one. They're like covered in fur because he kicks them all around the flower. But he loves these things, and I get in such a enjoyment out of watching him play fetch with these and just kicking them around. And he walks around with them in his little mouth, and he starts meowing with them in his mouth, and it's so cute. Um, but he is such a cutie. He's so photoenergetic. Um, like, he just has, like, such cuddliness and pure love. And that's what I enjoy about having him as being you know with me always so number seven is what are some quirky things about your pet um i don't know if there's anything too quirky um he does like to nibble um i think it's a like he doesn't like he doesn't like bite bite like to hurt you he does like a nipple thing like on the hand and stuff and licks it afterwards um, and he does like to nibble the forehead for some reason. Um, I think it's like a comfort thing to him. I don't know if anything happened when he was a baby that, you know, may maybe he was taken away from his mommy too soon as a kitten and he didn't get enough from her or, you know, he just has maybe like an attachment issue or something, but he does like to nibble. But it's so cute because afterwards he'll just lick you after he'll just lick it like after the nibble He'll just do a little licky and it's just funny that he does that Um, but he does like to he lays around he lays around on the couch He loves the couch if you have not seen my pictures of him laying on the couch He lays on the couch like he's in luxury if nobody nope if nobody's on the couch, he stretches out, he lays down, he's, like, in all of these different positions. Like, I have cached him in, like, so many different positions laying down, and I've posted them on Instagram and stuff of him laying down. And it's just so funny because to that's, like, his luxury time. It's just him being all stretched out, him having all these funny moments just laying down on the couch. It's, like, his favorite thing to do. It's so funny and cute how he does it. It's like a very, he's like a very happy kitty doing it. That's all I could think of that's like quirkiness, I guess, for him and stuff. He, he loves to eat. 
Not sure if that's quirky enough, but... He loves his water, <laughs> you know? I'm not sure how much more I could say about that, but he is very lovable. Very kind of... Number eight is what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Um, you know, I have always say this, you know, my pets are my companions. They're my furry friends. You know, they're my babies. Like, they're like a billion different things. So, for me, all my life, you know, since I've had cats, I guess, around since I was, I guess, six or seven, maybe? Um, like, I grew up around a lot of cats. So, you know, they've always been a pride and joy to have in my life. And to me, they are just, you know, been there for me through all of my surgeries and, you know, the frustrations of being disabled with spina bifida that I go through, you know. If I'm not in a good mood, they're there to cheer me up. I just have to take a look at them and just be like, you're such a cutie, you're so beautiful. And, you know, it's like, how I guess Egyptians worshipped cats back in the day. You know, I think they're such a beauty to look at. Cats are majestic creatures and they are just a beauty to look at. They're very lovable. They have such love and compassion. And, you know, they care for you. Like, my cats care for me. They love me. And I know that and I'm truly blessed to have beautiful babies like this in my life. <laughs> And I'm happy to be a kitty mama, a kitty lady. Like, I am a very happy girl, you know. They're there for me. And, you know, they just provide just, like, love and comfort and joy. And that's what your pet should be. They shouldn't make you feel mad or angry or sad or things like that. They're there to cheer you up in those times that you need it. And... I love being with them. That's how much I love my baby so much. Okay, number nine is what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? I guess, I guess what, what to do, I guess, like in my free time and stuff with my cat, if I have time. I'm always, well, I do feed them. I feed them breakfast and I feed them dinner. They, they get excited for that. Um, also, Hope loves playing fetch. Like I said, he loves playing fetch with his little mice. He loves them. It's so cute when he walks around with them. They're like cute little mice. He gets so happy. They have little rattles or little bells and stuff in them. They're so cute. I got these off the, like, the Dollar Tree. And these are so hard to find. If anybody knows uh, how to find little more little mice like this, please let me know because they're always so hard to come by when I'm looking for them at the Dollar Tree. Because these are the ones he likes the most. He gets excited for these. He loves them. If I could buy a whole bulk, I would. I would just buy, like, a whole box full and just, like, have it waiting. So, like, if you lost one, got a backup. But he loves playing fetch. He loves, oh my goodness, he loves fetch. I'm just looking at him over here because he's so cute. But I love cuddle time. I like cuddle time with the cats. I like laying down with them. You know, he lays everywhere. <laughs> he lays on the couch. He lays in the kitchen chair. He'll come in my room and he'll lay in either Rose's bed. He'll steal her bed. And my Nana got them a tent recently. So he's been loving the tent. They take turns in it. Um, <laughs> Rose Juan and Hope, they tolerate each other. But they're not like best friends or best buddies. But they know how to, uh, she knows how to tolerate him. But he wants to always have so much fun and tackle her down. Because that's a boy kitty thing. So. And he loves little kitty treats. Oh my goodness. Which ones are we having right now that I was tempting him with? These are the Temptations. These are the chicken flavor ones. This is, he loves, he loves when I give him treats. He loves when it's treat time or canned food time. Oh my gosh. Canned food time is the best time for him. It's like the best time for him to have. 
But I think the best thing I can say is that um, just hugging him and holding him and just feeling his beautiful, pure love and warmth is just a blessing. Just a blessing. And the last question is number 10. What are nicknames you call your pet? <laughs> this is going to get a little funny. So I call him Hope. My baby brother uh, likes to call him Hopi. Um, I call him Baby Bunny um, because he looks like a bunny kitty, like a gray and white little bunny, but he's in a kitty form. Um, but he looks like he could be a bunny kitty. <laughs> I like to call him my Baby Bunny Kitty. <laughs> um, I called, I've called him Little Domestic. Um, I thought that was cute. Um, he's my sweet little baby boy. I, I like to call him my sweet little baby boy. But he's a cutie. He's sleeping. He's sleeping in the tent. That's why I keep looking over here because it's so cute to watch. I love watching. I just love to watch the cat sleep. Watching that just feels like pure joy because sometimes when they sleep, they sleep in the cutest ways. And it just looks like they're like in such peace and quiet luxury. Like they get more rest than probably us humans. That's what I think. They have so much more sleep than us. If only we could be cats. That would be cool. But um, that's all the questions. And that's all about my little kitty Hope. I hope that was lots of hopes <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed so I just wanted to throw this in here about hope's name because I feel like I predicted this I don't know if I I don't know if, if I should say or not but I will say this so at the time that I got hope it wasn't even time for since it was only July 1st of this of the year that I got him um, Once Upon a Time, uh, the final season hadn't even aired yet, and we knew, I guess some people had predictions of what Emma and Killian were going to name their kid if they had a daughter and stuff, so I think I predicted it before it was even announced and stuff but you know their daughter ended up being named hope i loved hope for a long time because it's not uh, hope isn't the first <laughs> kid i guess in the fictional tv world to be called hope um the only character of hope that i knew of being on tv at the time was i was watching one life to live which is a soap opera, and Star Manning and Cole Thornhard, which was literally my OTP growing up <laughs> as a as a you know young teen and stuff. Um, watching One Life to Live because I got to watch literally the actress who plays Star Kristen Olsen grow up on the show. Um, you know, I always loved and adored her, and I very much shipped star and cole very much and they had a, they ended up having a daughter named hope um their characters so i very much always adored the name hope um and so i knew a, either a cat or a human of mine will be called hope um so but i felt like i predicted what i guess emma and killian were going to have as their kid because I have Rose Swan and she is named after Emma Swan so I was like I have to have some fairy tale correlation in my life or just I like inspirational I guess looking names so I very much love fairy tale names I don't know if that's something you guys would would get but I do love fairy tale names um so I guess if you see me in the future with a real human kid, um, it will definitely be, I guess, fairy tale or something related because I find it very cute.
and very erythial. Um, so, I thought I would throw that in there that I think I predicted hope <laughs> coming into prospering. <laughs> um, because I got two beautiful babies. I got two beautiful baby kitties. So, if you haven't seen the pet, the furry friend tag for Rose Swan, I will link that in the description box down below so you can go watch that. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I'm not going to show Hope at the end because he's sleeping. I don't want to bother him. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and it's greatly appreciated. And until next time, I'm sending you all lots of love and have a beautiful and magical day. I love you guys. Bye.